Hi everyone, Vanessa Bartlett here with you today. Now I've had a few requests to work on quadriceps, VMO and legs. So this is particularly important if you've ever had a knee problem um, or even hip problems or any tightness along the thigh here, you really wanna get your VMO muscle, which is literally above the kneecap and it's responsible for stabilizing the knee. It's actually part of your quadriceps, your VMO, your vastus medialis oblique. Um, that's a really important muscle for us to help strengthen and stabilize our knee. So today's uh, exercises are going to be based upon strengthening this muscle and our quadriceps for good knee stability. Okay, so always seek the advice of your doctor or physiotherapist in person if you've had an injury. And then once you get the okay, uh, make sure that you can do these videos and of course any other training that you do make sure it's suitable for your needs and what you're trying to achieve to overcome your injury so the first exercise we're going to do is single leg lifts now you can do this seated or even put something uh, a pillow between you and the wall if you need to if you are finding it quite stiff in your lower back lift up nice and tall here we want to pop our shoulders back hold on to the opposite shin and then we're going to firstly start by flexing and pointing the foot okay so when you do this flexing motion your toes come up and your heels should lift off the floor now in that movement you're actually squeezing your quads and working into this muscle so I don't want you to do it with a relaxed leg I want the leg to be quite strong um, pushing down into the floor here okay so flex and point a couple more times and then I want you to hold that flexed position. Now from here, you've already squeezing into the quads. We're gonna lift up and down for 10, okay? So lifting up and down through your leg, try not to slouch, pull up, use your core. And eight, seven, six, doesn't have to be too high. Five, four, good. Three, two, one. Excellent, now change legs. Extend it out, hold onto the shin, Pull up through your core and then lifting up and down. Flex and point a few times, forgot that. Flex and point here, just warm it up a little bit. And then hold the flex, then lift up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Next one we're going to do is actually for the inner thighs as well. So you would have seen this one if you've done old school aerobics or anything like that. So we've got our back leg bent up, leaning on the elbow. Again, no slouching down, really lift up and always use the muscles around your tummy, around your back to get the posture right, okay? So we're gonna lift and lower the leg here. Now the leg is slightly forward of the body. Again, we've got our foot flexed. I want you to push up straight up to the ceiling, lifting and lowering the heel. You can apply pressure if you like onto the leg to make it work a bit harder. Now in this flexed position again, you are working into that VMO, the quadricep, but the bonus here is we're getting the inner thigh muscle toning and strengthening too. So pushing up nice and strong, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out and in. And we've got the leg just above the floor, so I'm not fully relaxing each time. Keep it up high and that way you'll work nicely into that. You should start to feel it. Let's do 10 more here. One, two, three, four, five. Keep lifting high. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold 10, hold it. Now pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lift up, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's change sides. All right, so the leg's slightly forward. We've got our core strong, foot flexed once again. Lift up and down, up and down. And you can apply that pressure onto the leg to make it a bit harder. Make sure that your knee is straight, we're not bending it. Whenever you're bending, you're actually relaxing the quads. And in this case, to work our VMO, obviously we wanna keep that thigh muscle working, all the muscles above the knees here. Good, and 10 nine eight keep pulling up seven that's it six five four three two and hold pulse for ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great 
Okay, the next one we're going to do, I'm going to get you to do a low lunge. So we're going to step forward, make sure it's nice and wide. Firstly, a quick hip flexor stretch, just open up through the front of your hips. Now in this one, it's very important that you keep your heel below your knee. If you're in this position, you are going to put pressure on the knee straight away. We don't want that. Bring it forward, really open up through the space there between these muscles. Keep the knee over the heel. Quick hip flexor stretch. Now from here, from this wide stance, I want you to get your balance. Grab onto the wall or move over to a chair if you need a bit of help with balancing. We're going to come up, stay low and work that front leg down. So pulsing here. Okay, and 10, 9, 8. Try to keep that 90 degrees at the knee. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Breathe, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Bring it down. Let's go across the other way and into that hip flexor stretch first. Remember, nice wide stance, bring the foot further forward than where the knee is. Great. Hold it there. Okay, find your balance once again, core switched on. You might need to shuffle the foot in just a little bit, keep it under the knee, the heel under the knee. Hold your lunge and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, that's it, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, we're keeping it low. So we're gonna come down into a squat here. Sit right back, just go on a slight angle here, sitting back. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, up, take a breath. And down again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Really good. We're gonna lean back, finish off with the leg raise once again. Squeezing through the quads, hands back, move them back a little bit from the shoulders this time. And we're gonna alternate the legs tummy tight. Okay, so lifting through the chest, core strong, alternate 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a breath in, stretch your arms up, keep your feet flexed nice and strong where your heels are lifting and then reach forward. So getting that stretch at the back of the thighs is also important for knees and um, just a bit of flexibility behind the legs as well. Let's bring that back again. So you might find this a little easier than holding onto one leg. So the straighter you are, the more challenging it is. So you won't get as much height as you did, uh, you won't get as much height on that first exercise you did as compared to the one now, which is fine. It's just changing it up a little bit for you. Squeeze your quads, take your hands back, lifting and alternate 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, core strong, no slouching, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift and forward reach. One more here, we're going to lift, cross, 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 and then down, okay? So lift the leg, hold, cross over, squeeze the inner thigh, go back out, squeeze the inner thigh, and come down. Lift, inner thigh, out, inner thigh, and down. Lift, squeeze, out, cross, and down. So you can integrate these exercises into any workout rather than just doing the big powerful leg stuff, it's really good to isolate this muscle, this VMO, into basic exercises like this where there's no impact, okay? And just go with how your body feels. Obviously, as I said, after you've spoken to your physio or doctor in person, if you have an injury, doing these as maintenance in conjunction with your other Pilates workouts on this channel or full body strength workouts will really benefit you in the long term to keep your knees 
and your quads strong. Cross over and all this crossing over stuff is great for your inner thighs as well. No equipment needed. Let's do two more here. Lifting up and one more. Cross, cross and down. Good. And then you might want to stretch all that out. So bringing the feet together, knees down. And another great stretch for the quads VMO knees is of course your quadriceps stretch. Just picking up your foot, bringing it back here behind you. Good. Look, you can hold the stretches for a little longer if you want to. Anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds is great. Take a few deep breaths. If you have any questions, post below and I will see you on the next video.